All right, we're looking for a short trade in the E-mini S&P today. It's had a kind of a runaway market. The advancers decliners are less than yesterday's high as the market pushes higher. And we're looking at the purple line. The offers are leading, the bids are leading the way. And so it's almost like the market, um, they're chasing the market as it's going up overnight. Uh, the NASDAQ is up even more. And so this market just kind of slowly creeps up. They're trying to, the bulls are, are getting um, into this mode again where they run it up at night and slowly grind it up during the day, trying to do this every day, decrease volatility, push prices higher nonstop. And um, so it's a, it, it's a point where if you're going to take a short, you could take a short. And we, here we are short at um, this, this level, 27.32.25. And, you know, I don't know if this, this will be a profitable trade or not because it's very hard to short this market. But the purples are leading the way. And the, we've talked in the past how the blues lead the way when the market is rising. It's made a bottom and it's slowly grinding higher. Well, it's had a long grind higher now. And it's almost as if the, the bids are leading the way. So, the, so they're chasing the market somewhat. You usually see these numbers... Uh, intertwined more but the purples have been separated from the blues in the pre-market in the open and still you know over 30 minutes into the trading day the purples are still leading they're still chasing this market this could this could firm up and, and still rally today um, it's 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 gotten back to um, this this grind higher and I'll show you why so when you look at the daily chart you see Steve Mnuchin um, Treasury Secretary called the top six bankers on the 23rd. That was a Sunday. Uh, Monday was Christmas Eve. The market went down one more day. And then after Christmas, it's gone straight up since. And so kind of a Steve Mnuchin bottom, in my opinion. And uh, it just completely changed its tone. High volatility, selling, fear. Usually markets, when they do that, they there's a more choppy recover. But it just changed, completely changed its positions and... Um, just slow grind higher and that's where we are so here is the trade we've seen this develop uh, it's taken a while to develop actually so we're looking at a short here uh, market started to go down and then the buying came in and we had a stop at 2738 came to 2737 so um, my experience with short trades is if you uh, if it goes against you this much and it comes back to break even your temptation is to get out and then it, it, it has a tendency, it can have the tendency to really go in your favor if it's a good if it's a good signal to begin with. I'm not saying it's guaranteed to go in our favor now. You see the market depth indicator got reset. I had some licenses that some of you purchased and I added the expiration of those and it got reset. So you see the straight lines from when it was reset. And so the bids and offers are not stored historically. And you see um, it's been inter more intertwined lately. But with the, um, the the purples leading the way. And so the purples are leading the way again. They let it here. So for most of the day, the purples are leading the way. And so um, maybe it will finally break down and there will be some selling. The bid will maybe give up because it's been overly bid this morning, in my opinion. And um, if you look at the advanced decline line, too. It's selling off. The high yesterday, it surged on, on the earnings yesterday. And you see the advanced decline line, which is if it's positive, it's bullish. The more positive it is, uh, not necessarily bullish on a day trade basis, but how how strong that market is right now. And it it was below 1,000 yesterday. And then today it hasn't – it's been below the yesterday's close. And it's trending down pretty strongly before the market is and so we'll see if that leads the way or if um, you know if this will act as a buy signal but so the market is is breaking down a little bit now uh, the ticks are breaking down and so we took four $475 of heat on this and now we're about plus 450 this is two contracts by the way and so again looking to to see how this trade develops, looking for a good exit point. This is more of a discretionary trade with the market depth indicator. Right now, there are no trades so far in the 25K portfolio today. Very, very quiet day. VIX is, is below 15. 
or at the 15 level last I checked and I want to check it yeah, it's at 1565 so um, you know we'll see what happens here I, I don't if the market holds here and in and, and this level and keeps trying to rally today um, I would anticipate there'd be a little bit of selling at night but um, just interesting to watch this trade develop with the order book and so the, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the market depth indicator. And you can find that here on my website under indicators. The market depth indicator is $97 annual subscription. And I'll be adding some interesting updates to this as well. You can get the training videos here. I'll add this video uh, to the top. And you'll see the latest training video. And you'll have this market depth indicator. Um, available to you if you want to use the order book to take some of your trades to filter some of your trades we have some guidelines for it